All right, uh, this is the Sage Wanderer coming at you from my dilapidated mini tour bus deep in Antifa country, 45 miles from Portland, Oregon. So in a previous video, I talked about uh, what the Civil War might look like. I talked about a purge by the far left of people that don't agree with them. Um... And I talked about how I didn't think secession and states against the federal government would actually be a thing, that this would be more like a Bolshevik revolution and a war in the streets with mob rule. Now, there is another side of this. There's many sides to this. It's multifaceted. It's why the United Nations just came out and issued a warning declaring that the United States was already currently involved in a civil war and that civil war conditions currently exist in our country. Um, another facet of this is the state of California. Um, my neighbor to the south right now. And um, that is one place where I think that the Hispanic Revolution, the immigrant revolution, will take a different turn than the Antifa Bolshevik communist revolution that's going to take place in Oregon. I think in California you may see a secession from the Union. I, I do not know how a Trump White House would deal with a real secession from California, uh, from California from the Union. I don't believe California can pull it together because they're split north and south. That it would almost take a division of California before you could get a genuine secession um, I think if a secession were voted on, the people in the north part of California would probably rebel. And you might see a California internal civil war. And with them seceding from the Union, the National Guard would not be participating in it. The United States military would not come to the aid of the people of Northern California. And what you would see is people from, say, Wyoming and Montana and Eastern Oregon and Nevada potentially coming to the aid of the Northern Californians and defending their sovereignty against the attempt. And who knows, maybe the federal government might then back the Northern California rebels and there could be a genuine civil war within the state of California, Californians against Californians. This might simultaneously be going on with a purge type of Bolshevik revolution perpetrated by Antifa and members of the far left here in Oregon. Oregon too might become split east against west. I suspect that the, after the first night of purge, or at least by the second, that the cowboys and the ranchers and the sheep herders and the agricultural people and the mountain men of eastern Oregon will fall trees across the pass and not let you come back and forth. Uh, to Eastern Oregon. You know, they might cut off the beef supply to Western Oregon. They might align with Northern California in some kind of um, new state, redrawing of the lines of states to create their own pro-American uh, coalition. Um, I suspect that what you will see is a division that follows the mountains, the geographical uh, boundary that has always played a part in any kind of war. You know, it's uh, Thermopylae, you know, the 300, the control of the pass. Uh, you know, this, this state uh, has a mountain range, runs right through the middle of it. Those passes will be held by one side or the other and controlled. The fights will be for the passes. You have the same sort of thing coming down into the valley into the Great Valley in California from the mountains of Northern California. Uh, I suspect that those pinch points will be a place where rebellious militias will stand their ground. Um, the media, that's another video, what role they're playing in all of this and how they will paint each side and who's even listening anymore will be the question. There's a battle brewing with YouTube and Google where they're trying to control the narrative and censor. I'm probably going to get censored. I just started and they're going to censor me. Who knows? But all of this is really brewing into quite the perfect storm 
So, if I had to make a guess, and guessing the future has always been a hobby of mine, I try not to use ancient texts and, you know, prophets from the past uh, much. I look at those things, but really, uh, I'm about interpreting what's going on right now and trying to predict what the next move might be. So, I suspect you'll see purge-type revolutionary mobs, Antifa agitated and based in Antifa, using potentially the slur of Nazi or white supremacist as a way of attacking those who have more money than them. In California, you might see an attempt at secession and a rebellion by Northern California, uh, aided by the freedom-minded people of um, the northern mountain regions, the high mountain deserts of eastern Oregon, Idaho, Utah, Nevada, Montana, uh, coming to the aid of the Northern Californians, maybe even the federal government backing the Northern Californians and arming them. Uh, in that way, you might see the closest thing you'll ever see to a traditional military-based civil war will be in the California conflict. I hope we can work all this out. And once again, I say give us jobs and everyone will get happy. <laughs> you know, weed's not working. I thought weed'd make everybody happy, but all them Antifa people, they're smoking weed and they're still pissed. So, I encourage everyone who's in the middle everyone who is sane especially if you got two nickels to rub together and you look in the light least bit like you might have some money um, hide it fall into the background or organize and arm yourself because they're coming for you it's just a matter of time California I, I urge you guys to work your stuff out man I mean illegal immigration is illegal and um, you know Trump is gonna build this wall and if you rebel against the federal government, you might see warfare in your own state. If you try to mobilize your state for secession, you might see rebellion from the north of California. We live in dangerous times. I encourage you to uh, prepare um, as best you can. Have an exit plan. Uh, Mr. Miyagi taught me some years ago that the best way to avoid a punch is to not be there when it's thrown. So, you might see the background behind me change over the course of the next few months. Hopefully not. I really love it here. I'm a native Oregonian. And, uh, except for the rain, it's freaking awesome here. And we got weed. <laughs> Alright, man, you guys stay safe. We'll catch you for the next video.